the ultrasound tech started doing the ultrasound and said, okay, this was at six weeks, and said, okay, there's baby A's heartbeat. Then it was, there's baby B's heartbeat. And we just were going, oh my goodness, twins, yay. And then suddenly she said, and there's baby C's heartbeat. And <laughs> I, my jaw was on the ground. My husband had the biggest smile. So yes, it was a shock. <laughs> we learned right away that because I was expecting triplets that we were going to be seeing a lot of the doctors at St. John's uh, Children's, Women's and Children's Hospital because that's where the high risk doctors were. And we knew that my pregnancy was extremely high risk. So um, our first experience was just amazing. It, they really took care of us and we knew right away that if there were going to be any complications they were going to catch it right away and sure enough they did. As they got closer and closer to what we consider an age that uh, the babies would be viable which would be 23 weeks gestation um, unfortunately Stacy started to get sicker and sicker. So at 22 weeks and six days she went into labor um, and she delivered her first baby early in the morning and unfortunately that baby did not survive um, out of the delivery room. I delivered Abigail first and they couldn't rescue her. <laughs> They tried. She was the weakest of them and she was sick. And she passed away about two hours later. As Stacy progressed to become critically ill, um, she had, you know, two extremely preterm newborns here fighting for their lives as well. Um, so I think our initial thoughts uh, as this case evolved were um, focusing on Ryan, her husband. Uh, who has now just been confronted with the possibility of losing his wife and watching um, two very sick little babies. I mean, it was surreal. I mean, it was a moment that I really had to sit and take it all in. You know, it was, um, it's came down to it that we had our, our life and our kids' lives were in the right hands and they were making the right decisions for our family. I feel so blessed, so blessed, because I look at her every day and I think if we were not at St. John's Hospital, I don't think she would be here today. Because I know that other hospitals, most other hospitals don't give kids like mine a chance because they're so young and way too premature. And yet the NICU doctors were so fantastic. Look at Peyton, born so early. And then, I mean, I don't know of many people that know a child born that early is doing as well as she's doing. She's not on a, a trach, she's off her oxygen. She's a beautiful, special little girl. I think the reason our neonatal intensive care unit is so successful without question is because of the collegiality between not only the neonatologists as physicians, but all of our support staff, our nurses, our respiratory therapists, our social workers, even our unit clerks who will be you know, running to the blood bank or the lab when we ask them to do it. Um, it truly is a team effort. Having a staff who believes in the mission, who believes that these babies should be given a chance, I think that's what makes the big difference. People all the time ask me, how could you go back to the hospital where your children died? And I said, no, they're family. They care so much. And not only do the doctors care about my child and they will do everything to make sure that that child is gonna go home, they care about the family. I mean, I get hugs, I get tears. They cry along with us. And they still do to this day when they remember my kids. We took it for granted. You always take that stuff for granted until you need something like that. And it's a lifesaver to have that at your disposal.